I want to talk a little bit about step responses for various first order op amp circuits. In particular, what, what it would look like for a low pass and a high pass type of version of this. And again, remember step responses are going to typically be sort of going up and going down. I'm going to look at primarily the upgoing part of this. So usually what you describe it as just U of T times 1 volt. And the nice part is in Laplace, it'll be 1 over S. So when you look at the circuits, one of the things you notice is that you can definitely see um, one topology with two R's and a C and another topology with two C's and an R. Um, and resulting from this, it's pretty straightforward to write down the equations I would get in terms of the current going through this resistor, is the current going through that impedance. The other side, we're doing the same sort of thing with the two sides. And as a result, what you end up getting is two different transfer functions. One's a low pass, one's a high pass response where the tau in both cases is related to sort of C, an RC that's related to what's in, in the feedback aspect of the structure. Now in both cases, what you get is you get this ratio R2 over R1, which then gives you a gain term. And then you get the remaining, um, the remaining aspect that you're, the remaining aspect for the high, for the low pass, or the remaining aspect for the high pass structure. Okay. So other than that, you would expect this would look almost identical to a low-pass RC or a, a high-pass RC type of circuit. And in fact, you basically will. You'll get the same sort of piece of that, the same sort of the high-pass piece of it. And then you actually just sort of invert these ratios again into the time domain from Laplace. And you get an R2 over R1 times basically a 1 minus e to the minus t over tau. Again, typical low pass step response, whereas the high pass gives you something that would step instantaneously at t equal to zero and then decay off to zero. But notice the gain terms here are related to the capacitor ratio or the resistive ratio. And in both of those cases, that gives you additional design ability and capability in these structures, as well as the fact that I can take one of these op amp circuits and cascade it with another one and the two of them are effectively decoupled, whereas if I took two RC elements, they're not going to be decoupled, and I'm going to have to deal with the, the overall interaction between those circuit elements.